Hi everybody, earlier I posted a video about blepharitis in which I mentioned some of the complications of blepharitis and out of these uh, complications, today I am discussing the two complications which are very common and these are sty and clavion and this video of mine is about the uh, differences between sty and clavion, I mean how you differentiate uh, on clinical examination, okay. So first of all, let me tell you what is a sty. A sty, also called a hardiolum, is a small, red, painful lump that grows from the base of your eyelash or under the eyelid. Most styes are caused by a bacterial infection. There are two kinds of styes. The first is external hardiolum. This is a sty that begins at the base of your eyelash. Most are caused by an infection in the hair follicle. It might look like a pimple. The second one is internal hordeolum. This is a sty which is inside your eyelid. Most are caused by an infection in an oil producing gland in your eyelid. Um, you can also get a sty if you have blepharitis. So if till now if you haven't seen my video about blepharitis, Please watch that video and it is better to watch that video before watching this video so, so that you are aware of this uh, blepharitis, okay? Well, blepharitis is a condition that makes your eyelids at the base of the eyelashes red and swollen. When you first get a sty, your eyelid is prob probably red and tender to the touch. Your eye may also feel sore and scratchy. Now I'll tell you what is a clazion. Ecclesian is a swollen bump on the eyelid. It happens when the eyelid's oil glands clogs up. It may start as an internal hardiolum, I mean, which is a sty. I mean, it can start as a sty. At first, you might not know you have ecclesian as there, are, there is little or no pain. But as it grows, your eyelid may get red, swollen, and sometimes tender to touch. If the ecclesian gets large, it can press on your eye and cause blurry vision. Rarely the whole eyelid might swell. So what's the difference between a sty and a clazion? Sometimes it can be difficult to tell the difference between a sty and, and a clazion. A sty is very painful. It often appears at the eye, eyelid's edge, usually caused by an infected eyelash root. It often swells, sometimes affecting the entire eyelid. Ecclesian is not usually painful, it is a bump that usually develops farther back on the eyelid than a sty. It is caused by a clogged oil gland. Rarely does it make the entire eyelid swell. Now I'll tell you uh, some symptoms of uh, sty and ecclesion. Uh, well, sty symptoms can include a very painful red bump along the edge of the eyelid at the base of the eyelashes. It may make the entire eyelid swell. Usually a small pus spot on at the center of the bump can be seen. You may feel like something is in your eye. Having a scratchy feeling in the eye is also one of the symptoms. It, it can also cause light sensitivity. Uh, and there may be crustiness along the eyelid margin and tearing in that eye. Well, ecclesian can develop and you might not see any symptom. When there are symptoms, they can include a bump on the eyelid, sometimes becoming red and swollen. Occasionally, it can be tender, rarely an entirely swollen eyelid. Uh, it can also cause blurry vision if the ecclesian is large enough to press on the eyeball. Now, let me tell you who is at risk of uh, clazion and styes. Well, anyone can get a sty or clazion, but you are even more likely to get one. So I was telling you that anyone can get a sty or clazion, but you are more likely to get if you have a blepharitis, uh, which I told you earlier, and there is a video about that also in my channel, Obeto BB. Well, blepharitis is a problem that affects the edge of your eyelid. Also, there is a, an, an increased risk if you had a sty or clazion before. Then there is a skin condition such as acne rosacea or sporic dermatitis 
that may be also a risk factor for STI. If you are suffering from diabetes or other medical problem, that can also be a predisposing factor for STI and Clazion. Now I'll I'll tell you uh, something about I mean treatment of STI and Clazion. Uh, the, the uh, well there are some ways to treat uh, your STI and Clazion, and the first and most important is warm compresses. Uh, soak a clean washcloth in hot water and hold it to your eyelid for 10 to 15 minutes at a time, three to five times a day. Keep the cloth warm by soaking it in hot water often. For Eclazion, this warm compress helps the clogged oil gland to open and drain. You can help the gland clear itself by gently massaging around the area with your clean finger. Also, your doctor may prescribe an antibiotic for an infected eye. Steroid shots. Sometimes if your Eclazion is very swollen, your doctor may give you a steroid shot, cortisone injection, to reduce the swelling. Then, uh, if, then if these treatments fail, then you may need surgery to drain the area. If your sty or clazion affects vision or does not go away, you may need to have it drained. This surgery is usually done in the doctor's office using local anesthesia. If a sty or clazion keeps coming back time after time, uh, your uh, doctor may biopsy it. This is where a tiny piece of tissue is removed and studied. This helps your doctor check to see if there is a, a more serious eye problem. Now I'll tell you some, some precautions about uh, the uh, sty and clazion. You, uh, do not squeeze or try to pop a sty or clazion because doing so could spread the infection into your eyelid. Do not wear eye makeup or contact lenses when you have a sty or clazion. So uh, this was my video about uh, uh, the uh, to tell you the differences between sty and clazion. I hope uh, you like this video. And till now, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and click the bell icon so that all upcoming videos are delivered to your inbox straight away. And uh, if you think that my videos provide some sort of benefit, even it is a little bit benefit, please uh, give a thumbs up that will give me encouragement to produce more useful health related videos on this channel. And uh, uh, also, do not forget to share my videos with your family and friends and if possible, please share my videos through social media such as Facebook and Twitter because this channel of mine, Hubei the BB, is basically meant to help him humanity across the world. And by sharing, uh, sharing videos to others, you will be part of this great initiative to help humanity. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next video. Bye for now.